Maria and I'm the flute trainer Nigel and today I'm going to talk to you about flute in a big band. First of all, not every big band has a flute chair. I'm very happy that Nigel has it and you should be happy if you play the flute because maybe you can have the flute chair later. But in a traditional big band lineup, out of the horns is usually just saxophones, then trombones and trumpets and the saxophonists are required to double which means play a little bit of flute and a little bit of clarinet from time to time. But Nigel has slightly, slightly extended lineup and actually there are more big bands that have this sort of lineup with a specifically dedicated flute chair. I am considered to be part of the sax section, but I'm not always playing with them. So sometimes I have slightly different role. So as a float is in a big band, same as any of the other horns, uh, you're always doing one of two things. Either you're playing written parts or you're, having a, you're playing a solo. Uh, the solo bit is the fun part, obviously, and that's really when you're in the spotlight. And you would be surprised, but there are really some flute features in Nigel in the charts. And uh, yeah, those are the bits where you have space to shine and to be completely yourself and to improvise. When you're playing the written parts, it is very similar to playing any other piece of music. The only difference that there is between, I don't know, playing in an orchestra and playing in a big band is the, the style. So, you know, in classical many times, you kind of are trying to be really smooth in jazz and modern styles and many times in the music that we play in the big band. It is really a lot more kind of rhythmic and articulated and you really need to kind of, you know, give it a little bit of a punch. I'm going to play a little excerpt for you uh, from one of the charts that are in the Nigel uh, minus one series. And this is going to be God Bless the Child. And I'm going to demonstrate how I would play this part or some bits of it. So this is the very first phrase. Uh, many times it's good to consider what sort of instruments you're playing with. So this first phrase is the whole sax section plus the flute. So I am really kind of listening in how they're phrasing it. Uh, and trying to be really kind of with them. So it sounds like this. So you can notice that I'm not really using vibrato and that I'm kind of using accents a lot more. So in, if you were playing this in a classical style, maybe you would try to make it a lot more smooth and it would sound some, something like this. Yeah, but in jazz, we were trying to make it a little bit more cool. I'm going to play one more bit. This is like a little kind of solo section that again, uh, we are playing with the saxes. So it starts at section E if you're looking at the chart now. One, two, three, four, one. So something like that. So yeah, my main tips for playing in a big band for you would be really listen to the whole big band, to the whole rhythm section and let them inspire you uh, with your articulation and with the way you feel the music. And the other thing is uh, really try to project because you're against some really loud instruments. So don't be afraid to really kind of blow and go for it. Have fun.